So, Duke, that sound you've been making, we've been calling in a lot of coyotes today with that. Sure have. That's a, that's a good sound. I haven't, haven't ever heard that from callers before. How, yeah. do, you, how do you do that? Well, I kind of uh, they come off a pup, pup fight, you know, the growling and the yelping, and I'll show you how to do that here. When you get up there and you're growling on that, you get a hold of that, once you're done, you just bite down and slide about halfway with your, with your mouth and force air out of your lungs really quick, and that's how you get that yelping sound. And uh, when you're done, you just stick your tongue out, and it pushes into that reed down. That gives you that little whip on the end, and that's the part that really carries out. That sharp, that yep. just stops right that high yep. pitch. Yeah, and that really carries out there good, really good. And couch pick up on that quick. Yeah, go ahead and give her a go there. So you all the way, the reed's all the way out then? All the way out, as far as you can get her. Sounding good. You know, practice is the best thing for that. Definitely yeah, that, you really uh, practice, so. I think you really got to get quite a bit of voice in there. And mm -hmm. I think, yeah, that'll work. That's not that hard to do. <laughs> no, it isn't. Simple call, but it's really effective. Yeah. That growl that you do in front of the call before mm -hmm. you start doing the, the pup in distress. Yeah. How important is that? Do you, you uh, do that? Yeah, I think it's real important. I've blown a lot of pup distresses before and had luck with them off and on. Um, when I start doing that gravelly growl sound at the start, really pick things up and I think it uh, it adds to the call it breaks up the yelp and something else to listen to more activity going on where you're calling yeah. and entices them a lot more I think oh is that like is it imitating like two coyotes fighting is yeah that... or like uh, like two coyotes fighting or a pup or another coyote getting beat up on a little bit by another one you know when he's fighting back the growling and then he's yelping when he's getting bit okay and uh, you know I kind of got on that you just think like a coyote you know what sound he's going to make when this is happening to him and and that's how i came up with that yeah. well it seems to work it sure does <laughs>